Hi folks, Lee Gibley here. Um, I am a full-time real estate agent in Atlanta. Um, I'm also um, a student. I am working on spirituality. What I wanna do in my third act, I'm getting ready to turn 60. Um, I'm gonna do so in Tuscany. Kudos to my sweet boyfriend who's taking me there for my 60th birthday, birthday, but I digress. I am here to tell you guys a little bit about my experience with Rachel Barbeau and with um, her teachings. I've had a lot of coaches in my life. I've been a coach, um, but when Rachel put out the blueprint, I knew that I wanted to take it. I've told her anytime I ever get on a conference call with her and other people or just with her that I would follow her anywhere. I would sign up for anything she has to do. Like I said, I've been, especially in the last five years, I've been really looking to what do I want to do in my third act? What do I want to do with the rest of my life? I spent all my career in corporate. Um, I had two kids, two boys, um, and was able to stay at home for most of my youngest child's, um, you know, school years. And then when he was, um, you know, up and out of um, out of high school, I went back and, and got into real estate. And I've had a lot of success at that for the past six years. And I love it. I love nothing more than helping people find their homes. But I know that there's more. I do everything that I do with love. And I sell homes with love. And it feeds the bills. I'm sorry, feeds the, pays the bills. <laughs> feeds the dogs. Um, and, but, I'm, but I'm looking for more. I want to do something in addition to that. And I don't know what that's going to look like. It's going to have something to do with, with healing, providing animal-assisted therapy, providing um, Reiki. I just got my third level Reiki practitioner um, certification, so I'm excited about that. But anyway, I took the blueprint, and I'm getting ready to take it again. Um, I don't think you ever stop learning, or you, or you shouldn't. And if you do stop learning, you know, what are you doing? Um I think that, that people from all areas of life, everywhere, come into our lives when we need them. Something that Rachel's really taught me to do um, is to what she calls take off the mask and to talk about the trauma, talk about things that you may have, have, have shame about. Um, I came from a relatively dysfunctional family. Um, my parents divorced when I was around 11 years old. Um, felt very abandoned by my father, um, and my mother was an alcoholic. She passed away. She got cancer in 1983 and died in 1988 at the age of 58. The last five years of her life were when we had our most, the best part of our relationship because she wasn't drinking. She was the mother I always needed, and then she died. So I got gypped. Prior to that, I had um, some pretty traumatic things happen to me as a child that have affected how I behave in relationships um, across the board with, with men and with women. Um, I've had more than one divorce. Um, I've had, you know, I've, I've had a life. I've had a full life. Um, you know, basically, I'm a happy, um, positive person, but, you know, I had to let go of a lot of hurt. Um, and the way to do that, you can process it and process it and, uh, and it's like, you know, get therapy, which I've been in and out of for years and years. But until you take the mask off and until you talk about it and you let go of the shame um, and share your story with people, at least for me, that is when things truly started to change for me. And when once I let it go and once I talked about it and took off the mask and felt um you know, safe enough to talk about it in a, in a place that she created, a container that she created that was a safe space. Everything started changing for me. People started coming into my life that could help me, you know, expand what I want to do with my life, whether it's helping people or helping animals. People have come into my life since taking the blueprint that are pointing me in that direction. So what a gift, what a gift, what a gift Rachel is to this world she is, she's changing the narrative. She's changing everything. Um, I knew her grandmother and her mother years ago when I lived in Pine Mountain and I kept hearing about Rachel and I knew I loved her. I've got chill bumps just, um, thinking about it because I loved her, her grandmother and her mom so much. I knew I was going to love her. And when I met her, it was just like instant. And it was like, it was like we had known each other all our lives. So I just can't say enough about her. Please, if you are on the fence about signing up for this class, trust me, 
it will be the best money you've ever spent and it'll be the best time you've ever spent. And you're going to make friends that you're, that you're always going to be friends with. And you're going to just expand your network of people that can, that can add to your worth and that can add to your heart. Um, I always say live from your heart. If anybody personifies living, breathing, doing everything from their heart, it's Rachel. So anyway, that's my testimonial for the blueprint. And like I said, I'd follow Rachel anywhere. So I love you guys. Live from your heart. Sign up for this class. You'll love it.